20. 실전 모의고사 1회 1번 Mom, can I go to the amusement park with my friends this Saturday? Sure, but I just checked the weather for the weekend, and it won't be good on Saturday. Really? What's the weather going to be like? Mom, can I go to the amusement park with my friends this Saturday? Sure, but I just checked the weather for the weekend, and it won't be good on Saturday. Really? What's the weather going to be like? Ebon. Honey, the volume of my smartphone is so low, I can barely hear it while cooking in the kitchen. How about using a Bluetooth speaker, Mom? It'll be much louder. Okay, but how does that work? I've never used one of those. Honey, the volume of my smartphone is so low, I can barely hear it while cooking in the kitchen. How about using a Bluetooth speaker, Mom? It'll be much louder. Okay, but how does that work? I've never used one of those. Hello, visitors. I'm Dr. Durant from Rainbow Children's Hospital. Founded in 1978, we were the first children's hospital established in our city, and we have helped save the lives of countless children over the past 40 years. We are planning to expand, moving to a larger building next to Central Park. Therefore, from April 1st to the 3rd, we will be closed while we move and we will reopen at our new location on April 4th. We're sorry for any inconveniences this may cause, but we're looking forward to providing more, better services in our new, larger hospital. For further inquiries, please visit the hospital website. Thank you. Hello, visitors. I'm Dr. Durant from Rainbow Children's Hospital. Founded in 1978, we were the first children's hospital established in our city, and we have helped save the lives of countless children over the past 40 years. We are planning to expand, moving to a larger building next to Central Park. Therefore, from April 1st to the 3rd, we will be closed while we move, and we will reopen at our new location on April 4th. We're sorry for any inconveniences this may cause, but we're looking forward to providing more, better services in our new, larger hospital. For further inquiries, please visit the hospital website. Thank you. Saban. Hi, Sylvia. You look so tired. Did you stay up late last night? Hi, Dad. Yeah, I did. I was studying for my math exam coming up. That's good, but don't stay up too late. Okay. I just really want to do well on the exam. But if you're really tired, you won't be able to focus well. That's why I've been drinking energy drinks. Honey, you shouldn't be drinking those. They aren't good for your health. They help me stay alert, though. They aren't worth it. Studies have shown that energy drinks can cause heart problems. I didn't know that. Yep. You'll be so much more alert with a good sleep. Okay. I'll try to cut down on them. 4번. Hi, Sylvia. You look so tired. Did you stay up late last night? Hi, Dad. Yeah, I did. I was studying for my math exam coming up. That's good, but don't stay up too late. Okay. I just really want to do well on the exam. But if you're really tired, you won't be able to focus well. That's why I've been drinking energy drinks. Honey, you shouldn't be drinking those. They aren't good for your health. They help me stay alert, though. They aren't worth it. Studies have shown that energy drinks can cause heart problems. I didn't know that. Yep. You'll be so much more alert with a good sleep. Okay. I'll try to cut down on them. 5번. 
How's your drawing going, Joshua? Hi, Ms. Jackson. I'm almost done, but it's more difficult than I thought. Could you help me? Sure. Let me see your drawing. Oh, your sketch is really nice. Do you really think so? I just did as you taught me to do. Yes, you just need to draw this tree in more detail before coloring it. Well, could you show me how to do it? I mean, completing the tree? No problem. Please give me your pencil. Here you are. All right. You just need to shade it like this. Wow. Now I can understand. Thank you. You're welcome. Now you can start coloring it. After helping other students, I'll come back. Okay. Thanks. How's your drawing going, Joshua? Hi, Ms. Jackson. I'm almost done, but it's more difficult than I thought. Could you help me? Sure. Let me see your drawing. Oh, your sketch is really nice. Do you really think so? I just did as you taught me to do. Yes. You just need to draw this tree in more detail before coloring it. Well, could you show me how to do it? I mean, completing the tree? No problem. Please give me your pencil. Here you are. All right. You just need to shade it like this. Wow. Now I can understand. Thank you. You're welcome. Now you can start coloring it. After helping other students, I'll come back. Okay. Thanks. Yukbon. Robert, did you finish your art homework? Yes, Mom. Look, I painted animals planting a tree. Great. I really like the rabbit holding a hand shovel. What about the turtle just next to the tree? It's cute. Mm, but what I really like most is the penguin holding a small tree. I've never seen such a pretty penguin. Thanks. I hope my teacher will feel the same way as you. Of course she will. By the way, why did you only paint one bird flying in the big sky? I was actually thinking about painting a smiling sun above the bird. Should I do that? Sure. That'd look nice. Okay. I'll paint it right away. Robert, did you finish your art homework? Yes, Mom. Look, I painted animals planting a tree. Great. I really like the rabbit holding a hand shovel. What about the turtle just next to the tree? It's cute. Mm, but what I really like most is the penguin holding a small tree. I've never seen such a pretty penguin. Thanks. I hope my teacher will feel the same way as you. Of course she will. By the way... Why did you only paint one bird flying in the big sky? I was actually thinking about painting a smiling sun above the bird. Should I do that? Sure. That'd look nice. Okay. I'll paint it right away. Chilbon. Ms. Brown, can I talk to you for a moment? Sure. Will you and your husband be free next Friday night? I don't think we have any plans so far. Why? We're going to have a housewarming party. We'd love to invite you to the party. It would be our pleasure. Good. My wife will email you the invitation. Is that okay? No problem. You have my email address, right? Probably. But just in case, can you give it to me again? Sure. I'll give you my business card after the coffee break. My email address is on it. Thanks. Ms. Brown, can I talk to you for a moment? Sure. Will you and your husband be free next Friday night? I don't think we have any plans so far. Why? We're going to have a housewarming party. We'd love to invite you to the party. It would be our pleasure. Good. My wife will email you the invitation. Is that okay? No problem. You have my email address, right? Probably, 
But just in case, can you give it to me again? Sure. I'll give you my business card after the coffee break. My email address is on it. Thanks. Welcome to Harry's Ice Cream. How may I help you? Hi. Do you sell ice cream cakes? Yes, we have two. One that looks like a bear and one that's like a rabbit. How cute! How much are they? And are they the same flavor? They're different flavors. The bear one is chocolate and it's $30, and the rabbit one is vanilla and it's $25. Then I'll take a bear one. And do you have ice cream rolls? Yes, we do. They're $5 each. Great. I'll also have two ice cream rolls. Okay. So one bear ice cream cake and two ice cream rolls, right? Yes. And can I use this coupon? Let me see. Yes, you can get 20% off the total price. Great. Here's my credit card. Coupon. Hi, class. I have a quick announcement before you go home. As you know, there is a pond being built next to the school playground. So, the school has decided to have the school pond naming contest. If you'd like to enter, think of a name for the pond and write it down, along with its meaning on a piece of paper. Then, put it in the box in front of the teacher's office by next Monday. Then the submitted names will be voted on by students and teachers. The winner will get a $50 gift certificate, and the pond will be named after his or her submission. I look forward to your name ideas. Have a great day! Hi, class. I have a quick announcement before you go home. As you know, there is a pond being built next to the school playground. So, the school has decided to have the school pond naming contest. If you'd like to enter, think of a name for the pond and write it down, along with its meaning on a piece of paper. Then, put it in the box in front of the teacher's office by next Monday. Then, the submitted names will be voted on by students and teachers. The winner will get a $50 gift certificate, and the pond will be named after his or her submission. I look forward to your name ideas. Have a great day! David, what are you doing on the computer? I'm looking at the schedule of summer classes. I want to take one. Really? I'm planning on signing up for a summer class, too. How about taking the same one? That's a good idea. It would be cool to study together. Great! How about taking a class in the morning? I have to work in the afternoon. All right, but I want to take a required subject. No problem, but I'd like to avoid a class with a group project. I understand what you mean. I don't like group projects either. Okay. Then this is the only one left. Right. Let's sign up. David, what are you doing on the computer? I'm looking at the schedule of summer classes. I want to take one. Really? I'm planning on signing up for a summer class, too. How about taking the same one? That's a good idea. It would be cool to study together. Great! How about taking a class in the morning? I have to work in the afternoon. All right, but I want to take a required subject. No problem, but I'd like to avoid a class with a group project. I understand what you mean. I don't like group projects either. Okay, then this is the only one left. Right, let's sign up. Cassie, have you ever been to Reynolds Department Store? Yes, I went there last weekend with my mom. Oh, how is it? Great. It's an incredibly awesome place to shop. Really? I have a plan to go there this Friday. Cool. 
But just so you know, it's not easy to get a parking spot there. Then I'll take the subway. Would you like to go with me on Friday night? Hmm. Don't you have your swimming lesson at that time? The swimming pool is under construction, so my lesson is canceled this week. I see. Then let's go together. Actually, I have to buy a birthday present for my friend. That's great. Cassie, have you ever been to Reynolds Department Store? Yes, I went there last weekend with my mom. Oh, how is it? Great. It's an incredibly awesome place to shop. Really? I have a plan to go there this Friday. Cool. But just so you know, it's not easy to get a parking spot there. Then I'll take the subway. Would you like to go with me on Friday night? Hmm. Don't you have your swimming lesson at that time? The swimming pool is under construction, so my lesson is canceled this week. I see. Then let's go together. Actually, I have to buy a birthday present for my friend. That's great. Chip Ebon. Hey, Cindy, what's up? Hi, Jeff. I heard about some volunteer work we can do at the Chicago Food Bank. Oh, neat. What kind of work is it? They need volunteers to work in the warehouse and in the food distribution center. Can we do that? We don't need any work experience for it? No, but we need to submit an application form. Where can we get the form? On their website. We need to fill it out and email it to them. Okay. Do you know when we'll be able to volunteer? After applying, they'll let us know when they need help. Sounds great. Let's apply right away. 헤이 신디, what's up? Hi Jeff. I heard about some volunteer work we can do at the Chicago Food Bank. Oh, neat. What kind of work is it? They need volunteers to work in the warehouse and in the food distribution center. Can we do that? We don't need any work experience for it? No, but we need to submit an application form. Where can we get the form? On their website. We need to fill it out and email it to them. Okay. Do you know when we'll be able to volunteer? After applying, they'll let us know when they need help. Sounds great. Let's apply right away. 13번. Nancy, have you decided your major yet? No, I'm trying to decide between economics and history. Why economics? You really love history. Yes, but it might be better if I study economics. I know what you're thinking. And just because there seem to be more jobs for economic majors doesn't mean you should study it. But majoring in history may make it difficult for me to get a good job. I doubt that. What do you mean by that? There are jobs available. You just have to really search for them. You may be right, but... You know, one man's meat is another man's poison. Nancy, have you decided your major yet? No, I'm trying to decide between economics and history. Why economics? You really love history. Yes, but it might be better if I study economics. I know what you're thinking. And just because there seem to be more jobs for economic majors doesn't mean you should study it. But majoring in history may make it difficult for me to get a good job. I doubt that. What do you mean by that? There are jobs available. You just have to really search for them. You may be right, but... You know, one man's meat is another man's poison. 14번. Jason, what are you doing? Mom, I'm practicing for the school spelling bee contest next week. Oh, I remember you told me about that. How is your preparation going? 
I'm doing my best, but I have a couple of problems. Like what? There are some words that are really difficult to memorize. Hmm. Why don't you try making flashcards? That might help. Oh, that's a good idea. But the biggest problem is that I'm just not confident. Why is that? I really want to win, but I don't think I'm as good as the other students. Trust yourself. I'm sure you'll do great because you're smart and you've been practicing really hard. Jason, what are you doing? Mom, I'm practicing for the school spelling bee contest next week. Oh, I remember you told me about that. How is your preparation going? I'm doing my best, but I have a couple of problems. Like what? There are some words that are really difficult to memorize. Hmm. Why don't you try making flashcards? That might help. Oh, that's a good idea. But the biggest problem is that I'm just not confident. Why is that? I really want to win, but I don't think I'm as good as the other students. Trust yourself. I'm sure you'll do great because you're smart and you've been practicing really hard. It's the first day of school, and Julia and Peter are classmates. They sit next to each other and quickly become friends. Julia likes Peter because he's outgoing and cheerful. But sometimes Julia can't understand Peter because he uses a lot of shortened words. When Julia first heard Peter using shortened words, she found it funny and interesting. But he uses so much that at times she doesn't know what he means. So Julia wants to ask Peter not to shorten what he wants to say because she can't understand him well. In this situation, What would Julia most likely say to Peter? It's the first day of school, and Julia and Peter are classmates. They sit next to each other and quickly become friends. Julia likes Peter because he's outgoing and cheerful. But sometimes Julia can't understand Peter because he uses a lot of shortened words. When Julia first heard Peter using shortened words, she found it funny and interesting. But he uses so much that at times she doesn't know what he means. So Julia wants to ask Peter not to shorten what he wants to say because she can't understand him well. In this situation, what would Julia most likely say to Peter? Nowadays, many people desire to move to the countryside from the big, crowded city. For most of them, though, it remains a dream. For me, however, moving to the countryside became a reality five years ago. At that time, I had a medical checkup and I was diagnosed with diabetes. My doctor recommended me to live in the countryside, which is why I've been living here. Although I had to give up the convenience of living in a city, the benefits of my decision have been countless. My diabetes has disappeared, and because of the clean air, I don't suffer from painful skin trouble and eye pain anymore. And since living here, I can sleep well because now I don't have to toss and turn every night due to loud noises and bright neon signs of city streets. Moving here wasn't easy. But it was definitely worth it. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Nowadays, many people desire to move to the countryside from the big, crowded city. For most of them, though, it remains a dream. For me, however, moving to the countryside became a reality five years ago. At that time, I had a medical checkup, and I was diagnosed with diabetes. My doctor recommended me to live in the countryside, which is why I've been living here. 
Although I had to give up the convenience of living in a city, the benefits of my decision have been countless. My diabetes has disappeared, and because of the clean air, I don't suffer from painful skin trouble and eye pain anymore. And since living here, I can sleep well because now I don't have to toss and turn every night due to loud noises and bright neon signs of city streets. Moving here wasn't easy, but it was definitely worth it. 21. 실전 모의고사 2회 1번 Lily, when you sent the package to your brother this morning, did they tell you when it would arrive in China? Yes, Dad. They said it would arrive at the end of February. I hope it doesn't get delivered to the wrong place. Lily, when you sent the package to your brother this morning, did they tell you when it would arrive in China? Yes, Dad. They said it would arrive at the end of February. I hope it doesn't get delivered to the wrong place. 2번. Hey, John. How was your train trip across Europe this summer? It was so fun. I saw so many places I wanted to visit. Cool. It wasn't tiring being on the train so much? Hey, John. How was your train trip across Europe this summer? It was so fun. I saw so many places I wanted to visit. Cool. It wasn't tiring being on the train so much? 3번 Hello, this is Bonnie Taylor speaking. Thanks for your call, Mr. Peterson. However, after much thought, I have decided to take a position with Star Motors and must turn down your generous job offer. I'm sure I would have enjoyed working with you and the Process Design Group, but the opportunity with Star Motors is one of my dreams, as I mentioned in our interview. The management position is more related with my career than the staff position you offered. I'm really sorry for the rejection of your offer. I'm sure we'll meet again, perhaps at the upcoming Process Design Society conference. Thanks again, and take care. Hello, this is Bonnie Taylor speaking. Thanks for your call, Mr. Peterson. However, after much thought, I have decided to take a position with Star Motors and must turn down your generous job offer. I'm sure I would have enjoyed working with you and the Process Design Group, but the opportunity with Star Motors is one of my dreams, as I mentioned in our interview. The management position is more related with my career than the staff position you offered. I'm really sorry for the rejection of your offer. I'm sure we'll meet again, perhaps at the upcoming Process Design Society conference. Thanks again, and take care. 4번. Jason, look at the heating bill for our building. It's over $1,000. Oh, that's so high. Yeah, we have to figure out how to reduce it. Why don't we make a garden on the rooftop? That can lower the need for a heating system. That sounds good. We can save a lot of money if we install one. Definitely. And having a rooftop garden has other benefits, too. For example, it can provide a comfortable place to relax for the building residents. Great point. And we can have fresh vegetables if we plant them. That'd be really nice. Wow! We should start planning a rooftop garden right away. Jason, look at the heating bill for our building. It's over $1,000. Oh, that's so high. Yeah, we have to figure out how to reduce it. Why don't we make a garden on the rooftop? That can lower the need for a heating system. That sounds good. We can save a lot of money if we install one. Definitely. And having a rooftop garden has other benefits, too. 
For example, it can provide a comfortable place to relax for the building residents. Great point, and we can have fresh vegetables if we plant them. That'd be really nice. Wow, we should start planting a rooftop garden right away. Oban. Good morning, Judy. How was your trip to India? It was amazing. India is such an inspiring place. That's fantastic. So, what would you like me to do today? Look at my hair. It's totally messed up. Oh, you're right. What happened to it? It just got damaged while I was backpacking. I sweated a lot and rarely was able to wash it. Don't worry. I'll fix it up. Thanks. It's really tangled. So, do you have any suggestions? First, I'll cut it short. Okay. Then I'll curl the ends toward your face to add volume. It'll look great. Perfect. Thank you so much. Good morning, Judy. How was your trip to India? It was amazing. India is such an inspiring place. That's fantastic. So, what would you like me to do today? Look at my hair. It's totally messed up. Oh, you're right. What happened to it? It just got damaged while I was backpacking. I sweated a lot and rarely was able to wash it. Don't worry. I'll fix it up. Thanks. It's really tangled. So, do you have any suggestions? First, I'll cut it short. Okay. Then I'll curl the ends toward your face to add volume. It'll look great. Perfect. Thank you so much. Yukbon. Hi, Ms. Jensen. How is setting up the stage for tomorrow's freshman welcome ceremony going? Great. This ceremony is the first ceremony in the new auditorium. Yeah. This auditorium is much more spacious than the previous one. What is the grand piano on the left for? That's for the school choir's song tomorrow. I see. And it's a good idea that you hung the microphone from the ceiling. Yeah, it'll be better for the choir's song. What do you think about the welcome freshman banner? I like it. But why isn't there a speech desk in the middle of the stage? The choir moved it while they practiced. Okay. And as you can see over there on the right, there are chairs in the back right corner and a speech desk in the front right corner. Everything looks perfect for tomorrow's ceremony. Hi, Ms. Jensen. How is setting up the stage for tomorrow's freshman welcome ceremony going? Great. This ceremony is the first ceremony in the new auditorium. Yeah, this auditorium is much more spacious than the previous one. What is the grand piano on the left for? That's for the school choir's song tomorrow. I see. And it's a good idea that you hung the microphone from the ceiling. Yeah, it'll be better for the choir's song. What do you think about the welcome freshman banner? I like it. But why isn't there a speech desk in the middle of the stage? The choir moved it while they practiced. Okay. And as you can see over there on the right, there are chairs in the back right corner and a speech desk in the front right corner. Everything looks perfect for tomorrow's ceremony. Chilbon. Joe. Do you have choir practice after school today? Yeah, in the auditorium, Mom. So, are you still meeting with your science presentation group tonight? No, I asked them if we could meet this weekend instead. They said it's okay. This weekend? You know you're supposed to go to Grandma's house with me this Saturday. Oops, I completely forgot about that. She's really looking forward to seeing you. I feel bad. I made something in art class to give her, but I really have to prepare for my presentation. Then why don't you call Grandma and tell her you won't be joining this weekend? Okay, I'll call her now. Tell her you'll see her soon.
Okay, I will. Joe, do you have choir practice after school today? Yeah, in the auditorium, Mom. So, are you still meeting with your science presentation group tonight? No, I asked them if we could meet this weekend instead. They said it's okay. This weekend? You know you're supposed to go to Grandma's house with me this Saturday. Oops, I completely forgot about that. She's really looking forward to seeing you. I feel bad. I made something in art class to give her, but I really have to prepare for my presentation. Then why don't you call Grandma and tell her you won't be joining this weekend? Okay, I'll call her now. Tell her you'll see her soon. Okay, I will. Pelbon. Welcome to White Valley Snow Park. How may I help you? I'd like to buy snow tubing tickets. Okay. An all day ticket is $30 per adult and $20 per child. A half day ticket is $20 per adult and $10 per child. I'll take one adult and one child all day ticket, please. And how much is a spectator not tubing ticket? It's $10 for both adults and children. Okay. One spectator not tubing ticket, too, please. Do local residents get a discount still? Yes. They get 10% off for all the tickets. Great. Here's my ID card. Okay. All day tickets for one adult and one child and one spectator not tubing ticket, right? Yes. Here's my credit card. Welcome to White Valley Snow Park. How may I help you? I'd like to buy snow tubing tickets. Okay. An all day ticket is $30 per adult and $20 per child. A half day ticket is $20 per adult and $10 per child. I'll take one adult and one child all day ticket, please. And how much is a spectator not tubing ticket? It's $10 for both adults and children. Okay. One spectator not tubing ticket, too, please. Do local residents get a discount still? Yes. They get 10% off for all the tickets. Great. Here's my ID card. Okay. All day tickets for one adult and one child and one spectator not tubing ticket, right? Yes. Here's my credit card. Coupon. Hello, everyone. The Concord Gardens Tour is a tradition for garden lovers. This year, the tour will take place on two days. June 3rd and June 4th. Each day, the tour begins at 9 a.m. and continues until 4 p.m. A volunteer guide will guide you around the garden. You can purchase tickets online or at the front desk of Concord Gardens. Groups of 10 or more can get a group discount, but must sign up at least two weeks in advance to receive the discount. Please join the tour and see what's in bloom. Hello, everyone. The Concord Gardens Tour is a tradition for garden lovers. This year, the tour will take place on two days, June 3rd and June 4th. Each day, the tour begins at 9 a.m. and continues until 4 p.m. A volunteer guide will guide you around the garden. You can purchase tickets online or at the front desk of Concord Gardens. Groups of 10 or more can get a group discount. But must sign up at least two weeks in advance to receive the discount. Please join the tour and see what's in bloom. Sipon. Lisa, I have a list of the craft making classes at the community center. How about taking one together? That sounds like fun. Let's choose one. All right. I've taken a couple of craft making classes, but it was a few years ago. How about you? Me too. We should definitely take a beginner or intermediate course, not the advanced one then. Yeah. Oh, 
I volunteer at the children's hospital on Thursdays, so this class doesn't work for me. All right, and I can't take this class because I help my sister with math at 8.30 every night. Okay, that leaves us these two options. Well, I'd prefer not to spend more than $30. Me too. Then let's take this class. Okay. 10번. Lisa, I have a list of the craft making classes at the community center. How about taking one together? That sounds like fun. Let's choose one. All right. I've taken a couple of craft making classes, but it was a few years ago. How about you? Me too. We should definitely take a beginner or intermediate course, not the advanced one then. Yeah. Oh, I volunteer at the children's hospital on Thursdays, so this class doesn't work for me. All right. And I can't take this class because I help my sister with math at 8.30 every night. Okay. That leaves us these two options. Well, I'd prefer not to spend more than $30. Me too. Then let's take this class. Okay. 11번. Katie, I can't believe I'm seeing you here in France. Carl, what a small world. I thought you were in England studying painting. I was, but I graduated last month, and now I'm just traveling around France. Wow, that's cool. I envy you. So why are you in France? Are you on a business trip? No. Actually, I quit my job last year. I went back to school to study fashion design. Oh, cool. So you're studying here? No, I'm studying in Korea. I'm here in France to attend a fashion show. That's amazing. Where are you staying in France? At a friend's house here in Paris. I'm going back to Korea next week. I see. What about meeting up for dinner before then? That's a great idea. Katie, I can't believe I'm seeing you here in France. Carl, what a small world. I thought you were in England studying painting. I was, but I graduated last month, and now I'm just traveling around France. Wow, that's cool. I envy you. So why are you in France? Are you on a business trip? No. Actually, I quit my job last year. I went back to school to study fashion design. Oh, cool. So you're studying here? No, I'm studying in Korea. I'm here in France to attend a fashion show. That's amazing. Where are you staying in France? At a friend's house here in Paris. I'm going back to Korea next week. I see. What about meeting up for dinner before then? That's a great idea. 12번. Kate, did you see that the Young Leaders Global Internship Program just posted a new internship opportunity? No, I didn't. What type of internship is it? It's working in a lab. It sounds perfect for you. That's exactly what I want. Where is it? It's in L.A. I've always wanted to live there. Who can apply? I mean, what are the qualifications? It said applicants need to have a master's degree and some research experience in a laboratory setting. You have both. Yeah, I'll have to apply. I hope it's not just a short internship. As far as I know, it's for six months. That's pretty long. Yeah, it is. Do you know how to apply? Yes, you have to upload the application form, your degree certificate, and a letter proving your previous research experience to their website. Thanks so much for letting me know. Kate, did you see that the Young Leaders Global Internship Program just posted a new internship opportunity? No, I didn't. What type of internship is it? It's working in a lab. It sounds perfect for you. That's exactly what I want. Where is it? It's in L.A.
I've always wanted to live there. Who can apply? I mean, what are the qualifications? It said applicants need to have a master's degree and some research experience in a laboratory setting. You have both. Yeah, I'll have to apply. I hope it's not just a short internship. As far as I know, it's for six months. That's pretty long. Yeah, it is. Do you know how to apply? Yes. You have to upload the application form, your degree certificate, and a letter proving your previous research experience to their website. Thanks so much for letting me know. Ms. Linden, I heard the Parent Association Committee are going to run a booth again at school festival. Yes, that's right. What kind of booth? I remember you ran a charity bazaar last year. This year, we are going to run a snack bar. A snack bar? Yes. There weren't any booths selling food last year, so some student council members suggested that we sell something to eat this year. That'll be a nice addition. What do you plan on selling? Well, things like gimbap, dokboki, and sweet and sour chicken. Sounds great. I'm sure you'll sell a lot. Yeah, but we also have a lot to prepare. Ms. Linden, I heard the Parent Association Committee are going to run a booth again at school festival. Yes, that's right. What kind of booth? I remember you ran a charity bazaar last year. This year, we are going to run a snack bar. A snack bar? Yes. There weren't any booths selling food last year, so some student council members suggested that we sell something to eat this year. That'll be a nice addition. What do you plan on selling? Well, things like gimbap, dokboki, and sweet and sour chicken. Sounds great. I'm sure you'll sell a lot. Yeah, but we also have a lot to prepare. Hello? Hi, Dad. It's me, Lisa. Oh, Lisa. What's up? You have a medical checkup on Wednesday, don't you? Yes. It's scheduled for 2 p.m. Is Mom taking you to the hospital? No, she isn't. She has to attend an important meeting. I'll go to the hospital by myself. No way! You'll have trouble getting through all the tests by yourself. Don't worry. I can manage it myself. Dad, I'll go with you. I'll pick you up at 1 p.m. But, Lisa, you'll be at work. You don't need to come with me. Hello? Hi, Dad. It's me, Lisa. Oh, Lisa. What's up? You have a medical checkup on Wednesday, don't you? Yes. It's scheduled for 2 p.m. Is Mom taking you to the hospital? No, she isn't. She has to attend an important meeting. I'll go to the hospital by myself. No way! You'll have trouble getting through all the tests by yourself. Don't worry. I can manage it myself. Dad, I'll go with you. I'll pick you up at 1 p.m. But, Lisa, you'll be at work. You don't need to come with me. Eric has been working overtime a lot these days. Whenever he does, he eats late at night. He has gained a lot of weight and is in pretty bad shape. One day at work, while taking the stairs, his knees start hurting due to his excess weight. Realizing how bad of shape he's in, he asks his co-worker, Linda, for advice on this matter. She thinks Eric needs to lose weight to avoid serious knee damage. In this situation, what would Linda most likely say to Eric? Eric has been working overtime a lot these days. Whenever he does, he eats late at night. 
He has gained a lot of weight and is in pretty bad shape. One day at work, while taking the stairs, his knees start hurting due to his excess weight. Realizing how bad of shape he's in, he asks his co worker, Linda, for advice on this matter. She thinks Eric needs to lose weight to avoid serious knee damage. In this situation, what would Linda most likely say to Eric? If you wanted to strengthen your muscles, you would start training regularly. Similarly, improving your concentration is like building up your muscles, and it needs regular exercise to build up its strength. So, if you have trouble focusing for more than a few minutes, you could benefit by working out your mind. Here is an exercise that can help you build your concentration ability. Sit in a chair with your head up, your chin out, and shoulders back. Raise your right arm until it is level with your shoulder, pointing to your right. Fix your eyes on the tips of your fingers for one minute. Do the same exercise with your left arm. Gradually increase the time until you are able to do this for five minutes with each arm. Doing this regularly will definitely help you improve your mental focus. If you wanted to strengthen your muscles, you would start training regularly. Similarly, improving your concentration is like building up your muscles, and it needs regular exercise to build up its strength. So, if you have trouble focusing for more than a few minutes, you could benefit by working out your mind. Here is an exercise that can help you build your concentration ability. Sit in a chair with your head up, your chin out, and shoulders back. Raise your right arm until it is level with your shoulder, pointing to your right. Fix your eyes on the tips of your fingers for one minute. Do the same exercise with your left arm. Gradually increase the time until you are able to do this for five minutes with each arm. Doing this regularly will definitely help you improve your mental focus.